Welcome aboard this London Midland service. This is a Belmont Line train to Stanmore Village, calling at Belmont Circle and Stanmore Village. The next station is Belmont Circle. The doors will open on the right. The Belmont Line used to go north from Harrow Wilson's Platform 7 to Stanmore Village. Between Christchurch Avenue and Vernon Drive, the line is now a path called the Belmont Trail. Although south of Kenton Lane it is so overgrown it doesn't look like it has been cleaned since 2004. North of Vernon Drive there is a golf course, a substation and some modern housing. Here is Wheelson Station, which is a bit strange. Oh, that lift is rubbish, I'm not taking that lift. If you look there, that's the platform for the old Belmont line up to Stanmore Village. And there's this pathway that goes across it. The disabled access to the station, which one is the ramp and stairs, is sort of the wrong way round. I mean, there's the lift. So the ramp should probably be here and the stairs should be there. Mm. Now this is down into the station. Look at all these wheelie bins. The reason there are so many wheelie bins is because all these houses have they've all been divided into at least two tiny flats. And so the wheelie bins have a letter on them that says A or B that says which flat they are. I've seen a few sea wheelie bins. Property with three flats down here must be tiny. I mean, these are relatively small houses and they're divided up into flats. Must be tiny. This is the overgrown railway line. This is the Belmont line. This is now overgrown. There's half a cemetery here. And this is the Belmont line in Belmont. Over there is Belmont Circle with the petrol station. And here. Um, there used to be a, there used to be Belmont Circle train station. This station was an island platform and the line was single track except when the tracks went around this platform and how it operated was there would have been two trains and if we start with one at, with one at Wealdstone and the other at Stanmore Village, they'd come, they'd both, they'd um, both go one stop and stop here both at the same time and then one the one from Stanmore Village would continue to continue to Harrow and Wealdstone and the one from Wealdstone would continue up to Stanmore Village. The southern section of the path is so overgrown it looks like someone hasn't been down there in a couple of months. So I was worried there might be wasps' nests. I didn't want to risk it. So this is where Belmont Circle train station was. Oh look, a printer! <laughs> Let's mess around with it. This is the tray where the paper goes in. Look. You can push stuff around. And pull out. This is a printer that I just found lying around. And those are the inside workings of where the paper goes in. And that's the plug. There's just this printer just lying around. Oh, look. A chair! Warning! Work on mechanism by authorised persons only. This chair's broken, so who's going to obey that? <laughs> what does this stuff even do? It's weird. It's the stuff lying around. Oh look! A floating building on stilts.
doesn't have a lift. Then, I got lost due to stupid 80s town planning, but was able to find my way because of Great Stanmore's Twin Towers. These are two churches. The brick one was built in the 17th century and replaced by the stone one in the 19th century. When they built the stone church, they decided to leave the brick church as a picturesque ruin, and it's very useful for walkers, because the towers are different colours and the brick one is west of the stone one, so you know that if the red one's on the left, you're looking north, and if the red one's on the right, you're looking south. That was such a poorly designed neighbourhood. I hate 80s town planning. This is Stanmore Park, where there is a lake which is deep. You see this tactile edging here, and there's also some there and there. Well, that's actually because the red coloured bricks are cycleways and the black bricks are no cycling. The red is cycling allowed, the black is no cycling. It actually looks clearer on the camera than in real life. And it's like being in the Netherlands, this area. That's the old Stanmore church, which looks really spooky. It's ruined. This is St. John the Evangelist church and as you can see there's the there's the brick tower and there's the stone tower it's a nice navigational aid yeah these churches this signpost was designed to take 16 signs Stanmore feels like this is a place that has an old lift This building, despite being four storeys, does not have a lift. Let's try Sainsbury's. Oh, it just has generics. And these lifts from the Sainsbury's car park into Sainsbury's. Going down. Is that, is that the ALS voice? This is UK Lift serviced by Foster and Cross, who hardly made any lifts. They ha Foster and Cross hardly, oh, actually hardly made any lifts at first. I really want to go in this building, but it's locked. This is Stanmore Station. I like this station. Oh no, the fan's back on. That fan is so annoying, so loud. I can't hear the train. It's such a loud fan. Man, it's really annoying. 